Well, hi, everybody, and good Monday to you. It's 7, 7, July 7th here, and uh, I tell you what, we have a continuation of the uh, very hot, humid conditions that we had uh, yesterday. You know, those of you that know me know I am not a hot weather fan. I'm ready for September. I miss the days we had last week where it was in the 70s, but we do have a little bit of relief on the way, but we do have to get through another very warm, if not hot day today, and also a very sticky day out there. Now, now we had a front come through yesterday during the afternoon, and temps actually cooled off, and it dried off a little bit during the later part of the day, uh, and you may have noticed it, especially the farther north that you live. We even saw a few showers and storms kind of fire off uh, just north of that front last night. Those are now pushing out of southeast Nebraska into northeastern Kansas, but we have some more activity that's moving in the northern portions of Nebraska. I don't expect severe weather with this activity in the northern part of the state, but again, we'll watch for some of these showers and thunderstorms to move through. That front moving back north is a warm front today into southern Nebraska. So uh, warmer, but, or cooler, but still warm to the north of that front, and then again, very toasty conditions to the south of that front, and that Tri-Cities area is going to be on the dividing line of the much hotter conditions to the south, and it's going to be quite humid along and just south of that frontal boundary, too. I think it's going to be quite sticky uh, with some moisture pooling in those locations. But after about 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon, we're going to start to monitor the chance for some showers and thunderstorms developing. With all the instability, some shear in the atmosphere, severe weather does look like a decent possibility later on today. Continuing right into the evening hours. Again, you can see more showers and thunderstorms, especially along that frontal boundary that starts to make its way back south. That's a cold front as we head through the evening hours. Going to keep at least a chance of showers and storms around through midnight, and then the chance really goes down after midnight tonight. And by tomorrow morning, we're left with mild and uh, mostly clear skies out there. And it should be a much more comfortable day for your Tuesday. Drier air in place, warm but not as hot. More in the way of 80s and maybe even some 70s out there. I do expect uh, things to uh, remain quiet when it comes to the chances of precipitation. But that's not the case later today. Storm Prediction Center, again, has a slight risk of severe weather out for a good chunk of the viewing area. Keep in mind, these do get updated uh, often throughout the day, and uh, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that as well as the next update comes out at 8 o'clock, another one at 11.30, and another one yet at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Right now, the threats, well, there are several threats. In fact, we're talking about the threat of large hail, damaging winds, and yes, even some isolated tornadoes, not out of the question, so definitely need to be on guard. Have that known weather uh, radio radio radio, if I can say that correctly, radio ready to go again later today, weather call 5, also a good product to have later on today. As for your temperatures, again, coolest to the north, we'll have uh, mid 80s, near 90 degrees around the uh, Broken Bow area, and then well into the 90s, almost 100 to the southwest, as chance of thunderstorms later in the day. Could be uh, topping the 100 degree mark down in Kansas, a little bit closer to the 90 degree mark in the Tri-Cities, and to the east, we're looking at mid 80s to mid 90s, again with a chance of thunderstorms later this afternoon into this evening. After tonight, quieter weather, more comfortable weather these next couple of days, back down into the 80s, slightly below normal for this time of the year. Not quite as cool as what we had before parts of last week. A couple of nighttime chances of showers and thunderstorms Wednesday night, and again Thursday night, a breezier day Thursday. Warmer air starts to move through, uh, move in uh, Thursday night into Friday, so we're starting to talk about heat and humidity returning. And by the time we get into the weekend, I threw in a small chance of showers and storms late in the day Saturday into Saturday night. Maybe a little bit better chance coming in on Sunday as some slightly cooler air works in on Sunday. And kind of long-term forecast models trending towards maybe some more comfortable air coming in towards next week, which would be uh, the middle of July onward here. So uh, again, no overly like really hot conditions, but it is going to be quite toasty at times, especially down in northern portions of Kansas today. And then again, towards uh, your Friday later on in the week. But again, later on today, after about three or especially four or five o'clock this afternoon into the evening hours, going to be, uh, well, I have to be on your guard, of course, but you're all just Tim Jones. We'll have more and be covering that through the uh, nighttime shows and, of course, cutting in if necessary later on today with those severe weather uh, possibilities. Well, until next time, tomorrow, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski, and I hope you have a great Monday.